All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I got me an assortment of Girl Scout cookies, and I'm going to try them with you guys. Well, actually, it's just one new flavor. They got a new flavor out, okay? It's called Adventure Falls, okay? It's new, so we're going to try it together, okay? So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nursing, so our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My hair probably look a little crazy, but that's because I like some of the ones in the back were, uh, I guess the parts were a little big. My sister said their parts were big. So I separated some of them or whatever. So it just looked crazy. I don't know. And so I think I might have to like start my whole little four week little thing of not touching them all over again, which is fine. But I, I'm actually pretty used to uh, not touching my hair. And I've gone for long periods of time without washing my hair. Uh, might not be a surprise to y'all, but you know. Don't do it. No, that's fine. Anywho, I got s'mores, which I've had these before. They, I feel like they didn't come. Did they come in this plastic thing last year? I don't know. And then, uh, what's that guy's bus? No. Uh, then I got Adventure Folds, which is a new one. It is a brownie inspired cookie with caramel flavor cream and a hint of sea salt. So I'm really excited about those. Mmm, two cookies. You know, when you look at certain sizes, it's just really bad. Um, I'll, I love I love samosas, even though I don't. And I don't like coconut. I don't like, like, toasted coconut type of stuff. I don't like that. But I do love samosas, though. They're really good. I think just because I like those Keebler fudge stripes, that's probably why I like these so much. That's what they remind me of. Okay, so I've had the s'mores before. And I'm really just doing this video because I want a little sweet treat before I take me a nap. I'm so sleepy. You know, I love, let me tell you how much I love y'all, okay? I woke up at, well, I was so sleepy last night because I was up at 7 yesterday and went out into car and stuff. And I just didn't get to take a nap yesterday. And then, so I went to sleep, but I didn't go get to go to sleep till about mid, no, about 1 o'clock. And, but I just fell asleep. I just was like, you know, I'm just going to wake up and finish the video. And I did. I woke up at like before six o'clock and finished it. Uh, then I went back to sleep, but then I think I kept waking up for stuff. I don't even know, but well, obviously I had to work today, but. Oh. So, you know, so I'm going to read the description. A gram sandwich. Okay. Cooking with chocolate and marshmallowy filling. So here you can see. And we kind of remind me of little Keebler cookies, kind of. I don't feel like it tastes like a graham cracker cookie, but it's the bomb and I love it. Um, one of my friends from, actually, we went to middle school, high school. So get middle school and high school together and college. And uh, his daughter was selling um, Girl Scout cookies a lot. Went on ahead and partook. I saw some other people that were selling Girl Scout cookies, but they was just the first people to get me, okay? Um, and they didn't even ask me. I just saw that she just kept, her, her mom kept resharing the link. And then my sister was... No, her mom, maybe her mom was like in the same. I did this like a, uh, I'm going to call it like a little onboarding pre-college program for like uh, people with like under the same umbrella scholarships, the Office of Minority Affairs, so who I through who I got my scholarship through. But I want to say her mom was in the bridge program and that's how I met her. her she was a mentee in the program the year that I was like a, a mentor in the program or whatever basically and uh and her my sister were became friends but you know it just happens to work out that way that our friend one person friend become our friend you know so franny yeah her her um so her daughter was still in who you know is with the guy my friend from high school middle school or whatever so yeah so anywho yeah but 
I was talking about yesterday. I used to um work with at Jenny's. I think was that her? I think or somebody back home in Cleveland, but they do ship. So. I don't know, man. That shipping was something crazy. So I was like, I just opted to find somebody here that I could either, you know, I pick up from or they deliver. And they happened to deliver it to me yesterday. Okay. I'm going to start eating these because I had these about. Okay. Adventure Puzzle, which I'm really excited about. These, they had a, a, a flavor. It was called Dolce de Leche. One year... And when I tell y'all this dang on cookie was so dang on good, but I feel like they only had it for one year. I was upset. Also, unpopular opinion that Thin Mints is nasty. They're nasty. People go crazy about Thin Mints. I knew this guy I worked with at, um, at Chase, and he would buy a whole box of them every year. And probably multiple of um he knew multiple people. Yeah, but he definitely always bought at least a case every year. Now, this is a good cookie. However, for whatever reason, I thought it was gonna be soft, you know what I'm saying? Like I really wanted it, I was get you know, when you think of brownie, you don't think about no crunchy brownie, you feel me? At least I don't want no crunchy brownie. I want a soft brownie. But it is giving me brownie flavor. That's that. A caramel filling. With a hint of sea salt, I feel like it's what it's at. But ultimately, you know what this tastes like? An Oreo. Yeah. I feel like my taste buds be active, but maybe sometimes they be off, which I know is a contradiction. Mmm. But I like it really good. So it's got the, the cookie part, and then they dipped it in some chocolate on the bottom. You can see a little chocolate on the bottom, and then you got your caramel in the middle. And I don't really, I don't know where the sea salt at, though. Mm -hmm. So, there's definitely a, a deep, you know, rich, like, chocolate flavor like you would expect a brownie to taste like. Now, but I don't really like the 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 caramel flavor is like oh being overpowered by the chocolate, so I'm not really tasting that like by itself. But it's cute. It's real cute. Mm -hmm. But it's mm good. -hmm. I rock with them. I will sit there and eat that whole thing on box for wood. Really good. 
Definitely would recommend. And it was funny because I guess everybody got their cookies this weekend. Cause you know, y'all know they be setting up shop and buy this big lots by me. Uh, they every year they get up on that big lots. I mean, they get they bring them a table, and everything, and them poor little girls got one time. I mean, it was definitely snowing, a whole blizzard and snow flurries, and they was out there. They was out there selling their cookies. Now I wonder, is it that they just you know, do they have their fruit orders or do they just solely, you know, depend on they little troop, you know, sitting outside these stores is my question. I I'm, I would imagine that. I, I feel like I'll, you know, talk to somebody whose kid did sell Girl Scouts and maybe they do just, you know, order abundance or whatever. That one really is cool. I'll probably want to take some of these over. With him today, because I don't need to be having all these in the house. Now, also, we've been forgetting about, well, I forget about snacks. Yeah, I forget about. <laughs> But ultimately, we forget we don't we don't forget about them, but they just sometimes don't get eaten. Yeah, but that's just uh, you know, yeah, I don't want to go for some. Well, I don't mind him eating it because that's what I bought it for. You know what I'm saying for us to eat it. But bro, you gotta you gotta eat some real food. You can't just eat no can. You know. Your diet can consist of junk food, cause then you mess around, eat the junk food. Then you don't want to eat no real food, and we just can't have that. You know what I'm I mean, to a certain extent, like I'm really, I, I'm not really like. Me, I am currently like I see I count calories or look at calories or whatever, but for them I really not am not um concerned about that. I actually feel like they should probably have as much as they can handle. They're growing growing humans, so they need you they need that stuff. So I don't really care about that. I just I want him to make sure that he's um not just eating junk food. Eat some real food and then you can have whatever junk food you want, you know. Cause that's what it's here about. All right, I'll be back with the Black History Fact after I wake up from a nap. Cause I, I gotta take a nap. And then, but I just really wanted some cookies before I, before I took a nap. So I'll hit y'all back. I call you back in a second. Okay. <laughs> What you got to say? Chick, you said chicken patty. Okay, you gotta go get that. No, leave that up there. Alright. We are on. Uh, oh, okay. So, William S. Grant. So, day before yesterday, we learned about Samuel R. Scrock Scotchin. Well, I don't want to say. Look, I kept calling him Scott Scotchin, is how I'm thinking it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, but, okay, but. Uh, all right, we'll put it back on there. Uh, Samuel S. Grant uh, invented curtain rod support. So let's look up Mr. Samuel S. Grant. Uh, no, uh, why say Samuel? William S. Grant. Oh my gosh. Here, no, here. But you just can't put it, uh, put the, he put a battery and a nail. And uh, uh, water bottle. Earlier, sorry y'all. Clearly, I'm still um 
still a little bit tired. Okay, so this is what uh, his invention looks like. Curtain rod support. I wouldn't drink out of that one, even though you did do that, but. Night night to their stuff. Night night to their All right, so I like, so that was the cur that was the, the picture of the curtain rod support. So my invention relates to curtain rod support and the, and this is reading off the patent application. My invention relates to curtain rod support and the, op the object of the invention is to provide a support uh, which is more especially adapted to the class of supports designed to be used for curtains which cover usually the lower sash or part of the window and have to be changed for washing. However, it is to be understood that the invention may be used wherever it is usable, whether or on one part of the window or another or for other places. Yeah, I watched, I think it was a History a history Channel series, which by the way, okay, when I went, I was working at my old employer, we, uh, for Black History Month one year, excuse me, some of the programming that we had was, you know, we watched videos or whatever about, you know, um, prominent um, African Americans in history or whatever and so we would go in a room and you know watch uh we watched the documentary about william Steele. while someone was somebody was asleep in there you know one of us it was my own recession i just felt some type of way about that the disrespect is like listen okay don't come in here falling asleep this is a room for education okay you don't come in here falling asleep on our history okay so i felt some type of way about that i ain't saying that of course but i'm just saying like that was, i just thought that was trash anywho I would just look up William Steele because again, like, oh, that's what I was saying. Like, you know about the, you know, the more prominent people or what have you, like the uh, the um, Harriet Tugmans, of course. You know, uh, who else? Nah, now nah, why I can't name no names right now. But anywho, you know Harriet Tugman. You hear her mo her name the most. You feel me when it comes to like freeing slaves and stuff like that. But William Steele. He was really the man out here in the streets, too, so put some respect on his name. But anywho, uh, we were looking up William S. Grant, who invented curtain rod support. So him, along with Samuel R. Scottrin, okay? When y'all hang y'all curtains and everything, changing your curtains out, y'all. Thank you them and thank them for their inventions that allowed us to be able to do what we're doing today. And of course, these inventions have, you know, their patents and inventions have paved the way for, you know, things that we come to know today. So, um, always good to give props for the folks who, you know, made it possible. You feel me? Um, okay, moving on uh, to our common home. Studio app is going on. Well, sleepy look sleepy as good as I am. Mm. All right, where I'm at, where I'm at. I'm at a chili breakfast omelet, and I just always crack myself up because I uh, was about to say, crack myself up. Because when I, y'all know, I be trying to do what everything I can with these leftovers before I throw them out. So I'm all, but also still trying to eat them, but trying to do it in a different way so y'all don't keep seeing the same thing over and over again. I know that y'all probably don't care, and you know whatever but i don't know even still i just try to make it interesting for you okay so um all right and then i said who child i'm out of shape that's probably when i start working out all right angela eat tv's uh hashtag piggy palette said having coffee with you this morning thanks for sharing hey sis thanks so much for bringing your coffee i hope uh, Angela Sophie said chili omelet sounds really good. I might have to try that. Yes. I'll be out 
here doing the most. Uh, Queen Sugar Experience said, hey, Sunny. Nadira Yasmin said, hello, so yummy. Hey, it was super yummy. Real Ralph Amika Boo said, uh, Chili Almond look like it's hitting. Man, it was hitting for everything, fam. P. Davis said, hey lady, I don't like eggs at all, but your almond looks pretty good. That's all, that's all right, P. You like what you like, girl. Looks pretty good though. Shirash Shirash said, Chef Shirash Shirash said, I do enjoy a nice omelet, right? So much you can do with it. I meant to say in the video yesterday that um, the Bubby, we, we was talking about how he had the song or had his tablet playing even though he wasn't right there. Now, you think he ain't paying attention to that tablet because he didn't walk away, let you press pause. He's gonna come running to figure out why it ain't playing no more, but he don't be nowhere near the dang on tablet. So crazy. Um, sim simply one pop said, hey, real girl, honey, you are working that chili. Get your money's worth. You feel me, simply. Okay, girl. I can't let it go to waste now. Nah. No, that's all Barry had to laugh. You feel me? I cracked myself up. Christine Preston said that looks bomb. It was so, so good. Sis. And clearly, uh, omelets would love, if I can make an omelet with whatever leftovers, it's clearly a thing for me. Just FYI. Yeah, who we would say, man, college food went so hard in general. I love me some breakfast too. Praying for the bubby as he transitions from the boob. Facts, sis. I really, I low key miss the college food and being able to just go and grab something and to cook. And so what at OSU we had um oh and thanks for the prayers for the book. at OSU uh some places would take like our swipe and instead of payments so, off hey excuse me sir the bubby. No, no, no. No. Yeah, that's how you get it out of there. You pull it out. There you go. Now you got to stop sticking in everything that don't go in there in there, though. Um, we had a thing called swipes with your meal plan or whatever. And um, the swipes wasn't really worth no money for it. You know? like, it's just, that's what it was called. You had so many swipes throughout the, your uh, quarter. Um, she was on quarters back then. And uh, some places would take swipes instead of um, instead of money for payment or whatever for food. And that was pretty cool. That was pretty clutch. And you didn't spend that refund check. You ain't got no extra cash. You ain't got paid from your work study job. Okay, the swipes come in handy. And my silly self moved off campus. Uh, like when you move off campus, then you get paid. You get, you know, the money from the room and board and, and your meal plan. You get that back in the form of a refund if you on, you know, uh, um, well, um, yeah, if you, I guess, obviously, if you pay for it, too. Well, I guess you would be paying for it if you can't out of pocket for it, but I was on scholarship, so we got that money back at the end of the semester because we overpaid, you know? And, uh, but it wasn't worth it, man. She stayed on campus, man. I probably would, like, if I could do it over again, I, I probably would stay on campus the whole four years because 
moving off campus. I mean, while yes, you get a little bit more freedom and stuff like that, but I don't know, it just don't be, I don't know, man. I would just try to get me a little single room, you feel me, move into one of the like better dorms or something like that, and I stayed on campus, stayed my little till on campus, because for what? Move on campus for what? I mean, the refund, like I said, the refund check was nice, but I mean, shoot, I had to pay my silly self. Got uh, an apartment that was five hundred dollars. I had my half of the rent was five hundred dollars. It was a really nice. It was a luxury apartment. I think they ran down. They ran through now, but um, back when we stayed at them, they um, were really good. But shoot, my if my my refund check was like somewhere over a thousand dollars. Maybe it was close to five hundred. That no, fifteen hundred of that went to me paying my uh, rent for, you know, trying to pay my rent up the, the uh, you know, couple, three months. I mean, I had a job, but it was nice to not have to worry about the rent or whatever. Um, but yeah, it just, I don't know if it, I feel like was it worth it, you know what I'm saying? Probably not. Anywho, now I'm on this Costco pizza with bomb and I said, deal too good to pass up. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was talking about. Open this one. Uh, Raphael, Raphael Hardwood said, good morning. Hey, fam. Donna Green said, good morning. Hey. Uh, it's Beauty Babe said, good morning, sis. Have a, have a blessed week. Thank you, sis. Friend, you have a blessed week. Living, living life with Lisa, Lisa. So we living life with Lisa, 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 Lisa. She said, "Hey, girl, here catching up and replaying. That was a good price on that table. I can't wait to start shopping at Costco." Hey, sis. It was a steal for real. I'm salty that it ended up being the display table that made it such a good price. If I could have gotten it in a box, I definitely would have it. Journey with Kiki said, good morning, enjoy watching. Hey. Mommy! Mommy! Thanks. Mommy! A bar? Okay, wait a second. Thank you for watching. So good you enjoy the video. Uh, Queen Shook Experience said, hey, Sunny. Hey, uh, the real lady red ass Mar said, Hey sis, the hot dog though, your pizza looks good. I've never been to Costco, but I think I'm gonna go now. That's a great deal on a table set. Hey sis, that hot dog was banging. I almost got one this weekend. And their pizza is pretty good as well. Man, that table was a steal. But, um, yeah, I end up going with, I end up just getting the table that I originally fell in love with. And it happens like that. Like, uh, for example, with my car, like, um, I saw my car at the beginning of 2018. And I wanted, and, and ever since that, since I saw it at this car show, I was like, oh, that's going to be my next car. I, I figured that some at some point, 
in the next year or two, I was gonna be getting a new car and stuff like that. And so uh, I just couldn't get that car on my mind, even though it did not, one of the, the, one of the two things that I really wanted was a remote start and a CD player. Well, CD player got ruled out because they're not really putting those in cars no more, which is annoying because people still have CD players, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I could, I, I suppose I could get one uh, put in, but, I don't know, I kind of just don't even want to mess with my car like that, you feel me? But I mean, I could still get one in there, and I'm at, I don't know, we'll see. Because uh, I still, but like, for example, okay, Tank's whole catalog was not on Apple Music 1 because, of, you know, they wouldn't release his music and stuff like that. So, like, I have a couple of his CDs, but I didn't have, like, the one that I love the most, which is, uh, the first, well, it's, um, it's a self-titled album. And it has coldest on there or whatever. Or no, it's a uh, sex, love, and pain. First one. Uh, and they ain't had it. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I know, but hold on. Okay, just give me a second. You coming up here? No, you're not. Uh, they ain't had it on Apple Music, and I needed that. Okay. Anywho, all right. Here we go. Uh, yeah. So that's why I wanted my CDs, cause and I got CDs. You know what I'm saying? That I, you know, have made and stuff. You feel me? Plus, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I had a, a R. Kelly CD, the Black Panthers album, and while I didn't want to like give streams or whatever, even though I have bought it on my phone, so it, it has, it's actually on my phone. But I just didn't want to listen to it that way, but I was still gonna listen to the CD and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, couldn't do that. Anyway, all right. Coco T T V said, hey, real girl food world. Love that Cleveland sweatshirt. Costco is a top fave. And yes, the hot food is a good, cheap treat. Congrats on the new role. Navigating through corporate America gets real. Hey, Coco. Thank you for the love on the sweatshirt. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, and right, like, I was shocked at how cheap it was for all the food you can get. Thank you for the salutations on my new world. So true, my navigating. For America. Steph DIY Queen said, Hey sis, here catching up on some of your videos. Costco is too far for me or else I'd go. Thanks, sis. That's big money. That's a big a big uh arse hot dog. Hey sis. Thanks so much for coming through. It was a big old gangs. Gangs. The dog. I feel that the drive can get a make sense. <laughs> That's why I don't do sound but because it's not as close as Costco is to me. But I would do like I I'd rather have Sam's Club and if, if it was closer I would go to Sam's Club but this Costco is like it, it's like literally I'm skipping the jump away so I don't even get give them a free way you know so anyway Burn Bang said hey hi fam yummy goodness delicious hey fam thanks so much for watching all right um oh i got what? one two three four five more videos for say two months yeah, that's what i want to see <laughs> oh gosh i don't even know how many more i got to catch up on I me mean, a lot but where i'm at i think i'm in november sometime i think i'm pretty sure where i'm at Definitely November sometimes. 
Yeah, that was November 9th. All right. All right, y'all. This dude is in this. He's in the box. All right, on that note, peace out. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You broke the box! Walk. Walk. Walk yeah, you broke it.